Hello everybody, I am back again, and I feel like a total loser. Let me explain why. My journey started in 2018. I just moved from my childhood town to a small village, where nobody knew me, and nobody could really relate to me, since I was the weird kid in the corner, sitting drawing my Pikachus. I felt pretty much left out, and I hated that feeling. I want to be a part of the society <laughs> and I didn't use social media so I decided that I needed to start doing that. At the time TikTok was pretty much popular I started making videos first private videos then I moved on to make public videos my parents didn't want me to reveal any personal information nor show my face so I decided to make a mask out of the things I had in the house at the time, which was boxes. So I started making boxes. And the first box in was actually Kat. I was really proud of her. I sat there doing my weird cosplay dances and somehow the algorithm loved me. And I got viral and I hit 200,000 followers. It may sound wow, amazing, extraordinary, but in school, it was a different story. People were actually bullying me and picking on me for being a furry and being weird and being all these things that I'm not. Or maybe they're right. I'm not a furry though, but it was pretty rough for me. But I think I was not self-aware enough to understand that I was bullied. So I just rolled with it and I just kept doing videos. But then I got banned around one year after I made this big account and I lost everything. I lost my material, I lost the money I earned in the lives and it felt all pointless. Then I made an other account and it also got banned. But I managed to save some of the videos. What terrible language is that? It's Swedish! Welcome to Sverige, Schöppelar! <laughs> That are still on my computer. Anyways, um, after that I moved on to YouTube and here I am, still all confused, still a child. I still feel like I'm not relatable and that was my whole goal of this journey. That I'm now ending. I think I need to accept myself that I am not what people want me to be. I will never become the person they want me to be. I am me. And that is enough. And that is also why I recreated every single box set I made. Because I am proud of them and I want to keep them. Even though I am 18 soon. Because it's a beautiful memory for me. It was a part of my childhood and I love them. <laughs> And I want to expire, expire? I want to inspire people to do the things you love, not to care about what other people think, and just be you, just be yourself. That is the thing that made me the happiest. Yeah. So now when I had my serious Jojo Siwa slash Melanie slash Elsa let it go moment, I could finally just move on to be quirky again. Thank you for watching this video, I love y'all, it means a lot that you're supporting me, watching my channel. I wish you the best, have an amazing day. Bye bye!